Good old Ray, using Dragon Break, Rayquaza GX does 30 damage for each basic grass and lightning energy you have in play. Getting to 300 damage this way is surprisingly easy. With Rayquaza's ability, Stormy Winds, you discard the top three cards from your deck and attach an energy from your discard to it. Pretty simple. There's also the Tapu Koko Prism Star in the deck that just lets you use Dance of the Ancients and put two lightning energy from your discard to one each of your Pokemon, so you put one, uh, you select two lightning energy and put one each on one of your rays, or you can put them anywhere else, doesn't really matter. And of course you play Ends Resolve. Four copies of that, real heavy. Discard the top six cards of your deck. If any of those cards are basic energy cards, attach them to one of your bench dragon Pokemon. Obviously Ray is a dragon, so you want at least one on your bench at all times. And yes, if you've been paying attention, Ray discards, Dedenne discards, Ends Resolve discards, there's a whole bunch of discarding going on, so you get to the bottom of your deck real quick, and you'll probably lose all of your good cards in the process, especially these Prism Stars, which never come back if you discard them. But, Ray does have built-in draw with Tempest GX. For a single Grass Energy, you discard your hand and draw 10 cards. That might seem bad, because you might have some cards in your hand that you need, but it's really tough to draw cards with this deck. You're mostly relying on your top deck and Dedenne, you know, I have Cynthia in there just in case, but for the most part, you want to go second and use Tempest, and then hopefully they don't Marnie you and they don't reset stamp you, so you just have those 10 cards, and you're swinging from there. Uh, looking at the list right now, I've been, I pretty much have the same setup with all my different versions. It's just Ray and Ends and go from there. I put Oranguru in there. It hasn't done anything. Latios Prism not really useful. Zero Aura helps with retreating. Eldegoss helps get back uh, and ends Resolve. Uh, I'd suggest cutting the Oranguru and probably going to three to Denny or, you know, an extra Cherish Ball or an extra Ordinary Rod. But this is what I have today. Let's see how it goes. Okay, back in the day uh, with this Ray deck, back in the day there was a Vika Volt. And I'll talk about that in a second. So I won the coin flip. That is perfect. So definitely want to try and get a Tempest. Oh, Dedenne's not the best starter. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go get, I'm going to quick ball some things. Uh, there's a Fion. So I'm guessing it's Dark Box. Uh, that is fine. That's a shrine. I don't play stadiums. So that shrine is staying in play. Uh, if this is Spiritomb, oh, Twin Energy. Okay. Uh, I don't play stadiums. So this is going to get real interesting real fast. Uh, I think I just go heavy on the ray, because uh, I have the switch, so I have the switch, I have everything I need, I probably, probably do this ray first, yeah that's fine, did I mill any Pokemon? No, I probably go for another ray, uh, okay, and then do I want a Tempest or do I want to end Resolve? Let's end Resolve. And there goes the Tapu Koko. I should have grabbed the Koko. I did not. Okay, so... I mean, let's just go for it. It's a Ray deck. Let's see what happens. Uh, what's the energy? I'm just going to get it to Dene. I know there's a Shrine. I know they have a whole bunch of stuff, but I need to draw some cards. I lost my Koko. I should have Quick Balled for that, but... That's that's the way the, the deck goes sometimes. And Dragon Break. The funny thing is I added Energy Recycler really late in the process, and I was thinking, I'm just going to mill it every single game, and it's never actually going to be anything, but I've actually never milled Energy Recycler. It's always just shown up in my hand when I need it. And the reason it's important is because, I mean, if, if this Ray in the active gets knocked out, that there goes four energy and I don't have a way to get it back. Uh, what am I playing against here? I'm seeing twin. I guess this is probably just wheezing, but there's a dark deck box. I don't know. They're probably going to win, which will be kind of hilarious. Uh, probably just mysterious treasure. Go get a ray. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm just going for it. I'm just trying to show you how much damage I can do, even if I don't win this game. I get to, they got a shrine in play and they have all these damage counters. That's really bad. Uh, yeah, sure, let's see if I can get an ends resolve or something. Nope. Can I get an ends resolve? Nope, okay. And I'll probably draw into like two ends resolve. 
if I haven't milled them. Oh, I've milled three. Okay, that explains some things. Okay, so I'll put that there. And because this is a damage counter deck so far, I mean, I'm sure they have a wheezing or something, but because it's just damage counters, Island Challenge Amulet would be a horrible idea. With Island Challenge Amulet, the first effect is that you lose 100 HP. So regardless, you have 100 less HP. The secondary effect is that they take one fewer prize card when it's knocked out, but it has to be from damage from an attack. So this ray would have 80 hit points, and then if they put four damage counters from spell tag onto it, it's just knocked out and they take two prizes instead of one. So Island Challenge Amulet can be uh, not great sometimes. Um, this is going to be a photo finish right here. Uh, let's just drag and break. So 270. I'm already at 270. If this was not a single prize deck and this was a deck that also had GXs and tag teams, I just did 270 without even using Ends Resolve and losing my Coco, so I'd be well over 300 damage right now. And there's Marnie, that's fine. But yeah, with that Shrine in play, they're doing 20 each time. I don't think I'm going to get there. Yeah, they got the Quick Ball. I think that's just going to be... It's too little too late here. Uh, if they get a Spell Tag, that's 100% just going to win them the game. But yeah, that Vika Volt, uh, I think it came out in Sun and Moon base set, and it was like a promo version. But back when Rayquaza came out, you paired it with Vika Volt, uh, it worked perfectly. You just accelerated energy from your deck to Ray. It was perfect, but it has since rotated. Nowadays, you can use Rillaboom, and that just puts two grass from your deck onto one of your Pokemon. Uh, so I've taken three. I don't know. This is. It depends if they get an attack off or not. That's going to be the determining factor of whether or not I win. I mean, look at that. 300 damage. That is so cool. Uh, you can use the Rillaboom, but where's the fun in using a consistent card when you have End Resolve? It's just so crazy. If you, if you have six energy at the top of your deck and you use End Resolve, you just attach all six energy to one of your Pokemon, and that's an instant 180 damage. Um, no Twin Energy. No triple acceleration energy. There's an escape board. You don't got it. Please tell me. Oh no. So I think they probably got it. So let's grab another wheezing and they'll put the wheezing active in between detention gas and shrine. They're knocking out. Oh yeah, so that that they got it. Because these the denes are gonna go down. And it if only I had played a stadium and I and I didn't mill it. So close. So close to winning. You know, let's see how much I could have done. Do I have... I do... I can... I can get it to Denny. Uh, you have to put a tool. So, I unfortunately, I lose. Because... Yeah, I lose coming into my turn. So I'm just gonna try and show you how much damage I can do right now. So I'll put that down. Do I get an Ends Resolve? I do not. Uh, actually, I can go get it with this, so I'll just grab an Ends Resolve. Let's see how much damage I could have done. Uh, ends Resolve. So in a losing effort, I managed to get up to 390 damage, and I had one prize left. That is the power of Ray. You know, if this was a Mewtwo and Mew deck, I would have won a long time ago. That's just how good it is. Uh, yeah, coming into my turn, unfortunately. So it's darn to Denny. If I hadn't used any to Denny, I would have just won, but I didn't think I was going to be up against this. Okay, well, if they're not just going to pass and do that, then I will go straight to game two. But look how much damage I dealt. That is crazy. Okay, I'm liking those typings. Uh, in my quest to find, you know, a V or a tag team or a V Max matchup, because that's all I want to play from now on. I uh, don't want to go first. That's bad. Oh, there's some Poker Gears. Okay. So in my quest, I came across a Spiritomb deck, but it was the Spiritomb from Ultra Prism. For a single energy, you do 10 damage. Uh, I think it's called Lightless World. 
or no, it's Terrify. Lightless World gets you back to your supporters. Terrify, that is a fun attack. It does 10 damage, and if it's a basic Pokemon, it can't attack the following turn. Oh, here we go. You are so done, Picarom. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I think I just got to be a little crazy. That was a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll just put the latent energy there and give it the old pass. Uh, yeah, and that Spirit Tomb, 10 damage. Your opponent's basic just can't attack. Or if the defending Pokemon is a basic, it can't attack. Obviously, you can just retreat and break that, but my top deck wasn't going well. They were just doing 10 damage after 10 damage. It was taking forever. It was so boring. So I just conceded. I would have easily won, but it would have taken, you know, 20 minutes just because I was waiting on my top deck, and that was so boring. So you won't be seeing that. Uh, what you will be seeing is Picarom. Unfortunately, 100% of the time... Oh, that Thunder Mountain's going to stick. 100% of the time, you want to go second against big decks. You don't want to be... Oh, there's a Bolton. Okay. I don't play Stadiums, and I don't play Catcher Effects. So this isn't great. But I can knock out the Bolton if everything goes perfectly. But I'm highly doubting that right now. Okay. All right, Picarom. I'm just going to Electrify. That is fine. A Tag Bolt would be... I mean, the Tag Bolt wouldn't be the end of the world, as long as I don't put a Dedenne down. Okay, let's see what I get. There's... which is more important, Cynthia or Ends Resolve? Um... I mean, they're gonna Full Blitz next turn. This is bad. This is why you go second, because you... I would've just used Tempest, and it would've been so good. And there's just another Cynthia. Okay. So I think what I do is I switch into this one. I do that. I put an Island Challenge Amulet. Yes, I think that's what I do. And then I prepare for a GX. And I think I just Fishing Rod. Put that back in the deck. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Tempest. So there's not a whole lot of things I need to do right here. I can just go get like the Tapu Koko or something. So I don't need the Island Challenge Amulet, so I'll just go get Tapu Koko. Because they're not going to Full Blitz next turn. Or sorry, they're not going to Tag Bolt next turn. Um, I think at this point, if I get a Cynthia, I'll probably get it. Because I only want to use End Resolve from this point. And Tempest. Discard your hand and draw 10 cards. So, for this situation, uh, it's not the best Tempest I've ever had. Uh, for this situation, maybe the Marshadow that discards stadiums would be a good idea. You know, the reason... Uh-oh. Don't hit my Coco. Okay, that's fine. The reason... Um, what was I talking about? The reason you'd play Marshadow over just a stadium is because you can get Marshadow with... Mysterious Treasure, you can reuse it with Ordinary Rod. Uh, okay, so this was bad. But believe it or not, I'm not out of it yet. Okay, so I'm unfortunately going to have to bench the Latias. And I have to Air Balloon it up. I only have one Lightning in the discard. So I'm going to Mysterious Treasure. Uh, yeah, probably Mysterious Treasure of the Grass, get a ray. And I will bench the ray, hopefully discard a lightning, perfect. And it is time to poke a deer, hopefully get something. There's another Ends Resolve, that is perfect. So I won't do any this turn. I will do both. I will put a ray back in and a Grass Energy. Okay, and now we end Resolve. And we get a ton of energy. That is amazing. Okay, so I have Zero Aura and a Denny in the deck. Um, I think I might want to save the Tapu Koko, but... Uh, so wait, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180... Oh, I can't save it? Seriously? Oh no, I can. Okay. 
So that goes there. And I have to, um, no, I think, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that was a mistake. The, I forgot the, the amulet is on this one. So that was a mistake. Just gonna dragon break. I mean, look at that, 270. If that Pikaram had a big charm, I could still knock it out. So I went a little overboard. Uh, maybe I should have played a little more conservatively there. I just, I forgot about the Island Challenge Amulet, so they're in a position where they can just tag bolt, take three prizes, and wipe out all my energy. But if they can't take a knockout, um, I mean, they can take a knockout this turn, but they kind of have to do it with Picarom. Like They might have to tag bolt this turn just to knock out the, oh no, energy switch, attach, tag bolt, I lose. Don't tell me you got it. Don't tell me you got it like that. Big charm, okay, that's fine. Okay, so they still need a tag switch or just an energy switch. Oh, and there's a Volkner. But they, so they need tag switch. If they just play energy switch, they don't got it. They play great catcher. Okay, so they're knocking out benched Ray. That is actually not the worst thing in the world. I just need a really powerful end resolve, and I can knock out the Pikaram. Oh, okay, so I can still win. As crazy as that might sound, I can still win. Uh, they're only taking one prize, so I need to knock out the Pikaram. If I knock out the Pikaram, I win. I should have saved the Tapu Koko. That was my fault. Uh, so I will end or Cherish Ball for a Ray. Gonna have to. Yeah, this is fine. It's going to. Doesn't really matter. Patch there. I think. I think it was ordinary rod. I'll do both. I'll put a ray back in the deck. I will put one of each. And this end resolve needs to be really good. That was not great. Uh, what can I do here? Do I have more rays? I have two more rays, but I have one card left in my deck. Um, this is where things can go wrong. Uh, yeah. 210, one energy short. If I just had more cards left in my deck, I would have won. Oh, that is unfortunate. Because they're just going to tag bolt for game. Uh, I mean, if they don't have an energy, they can't do it. But yeah, just tag bolt for game. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. What? They're just gonna... Okay, I thought, I thought it said full blitz. I was like, are they just gonna date to the deck for more Electra Powers? But you saw that. I was one energy away from beating Picarom, even though I had a bad start. Uh, let's go to game three, see what happens. Uh, this is probably Nuzzle. I would be very surprised if it was Picarom. Um, yep, never going first. Every single game I've played today with this deck, I have not gone first. The ones you've seen, the one I have, the ones you haven't seen, not going, oh, sorry, not going second. This is exactly what I want. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Do I want a Tempest or do I want to go for a Knockout? That's the question. I think I just want a Tempest. This is a great Tempest candidate hand. Uh, please don't be Nuzzle. Please don't be the Nuzzle deck. And it's more Pico VMAX. Okay. Now I wish I'd started Zera Aura because I could just be like Zera Aura versus Zera Aura. But I would have. I mean, I could have done it. Actually, now that I think about it, I should have done it because I could have started Zera Aura, attached the lightning, quickballed the grass, got an array. Uh, yeah, that was that was a small brain play by me. Okay, so they're playing a, a wacky deck over there with a, a bunch of lightning boys. Okay, so step one. Get a ray. So I want to maximize that. So I have a grass in the discard. I can easily do this. Uh, those were some unfortunate uh, discards. There we go. So Zero Aura goes down, Tapu goes, goes down, and Denny. 
There's another ray. I think I just put the air balloon on the D D Danny. Uh, I have a lightning. I think this is what I do. Because then I can just tempest the hand. Because it's three lightnings. And that is totally okay with me. So I just tempest. Yeah. Because it puts lightning in the discard. That's fine. And... So this could be really good. You know, there was a world where I used Cynthia, but I think Tempest was the right call. Uh, unfortunately, Elder Jaws V is in there, but uh, I have a healthy amount of End Resolve in the deck, so I can, I'll probably Treasure and Quick Ball to thin the deck, um, and then I'll poke a gear, and then I'll End Resolve. And then I'll tap a Kogo. So, this should be a very good game. You're going to see me take some big knockouts. Uh, the last game against Peter on that was a heartbreaker. You know, if, if I just had, if I'd been able to use an extra ordinary rod or that end resolve right at the end just got me one extra energy, just one energy, things could have been so different. Uh, but that's the thing. You can use your, you can use your amulets as much as you want and you can use them how you think you want and it can just come back to bite you in the end. Realistically, you just want to go up against VMAX decks and tag team decks all day long. That is it. You don't want to face anything else. Just if you see VMAXs and tag teams all day long with Ray, you are so happy. And I'm down to switch. That should be fine. Okay, so I'm kind of worried about the more Pico. So I'm just going to do that. I think I'll ditch that, get a Ray, and then I'll ditch the Cynthia and get a Dedenny, because I'm not using a draw supporter the rest of the way here, I don't think. Uh, what's the supporter situation? So I should be able to get some things. The energy count in the deck is quite low. That is unfortunate. Uh, perfect. So everything is working out perfectly. Okay. And resolve, what do I got? I got a lot of stuff. So at this point, I think I just blow up the Coco, put it on Zara Aura and Ray. Uh, what's my ordinary rod situation? Wow, I. Whoa! Okay, where is the. That's interesting. I haven't lost a single ordinary rod? That's never happened. Um. Yeah, I think I just put the ray down, just mill more of my deck, why not? And I think that'll be about it for the milling of my deck. And I think that's turn two, right? Turn two, 300 damage. Like, look, look at my board right now. I have 10 cards left in my deck and I'm doing 300 damage and they haven't taken a prize. And they're not looking like, oh, they're playing an Ampharos deck, okay. They get that Ampharo set up and they can pretty much win. Because those keep paralyzing and I've milled all my switches. That's bad. So at this point I just need to get all my rays in a position where they can uh, just start swinging. 330. That is nuts. And I think they're just going to be in a position where they retreat, feed me a one prize there, retreat, feed me a one prize there, or maybe they'll take a knockout. That is totally fine with me. Um, yeah, the Ampharos, it's, it's interesting. You can leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed, but it's a stage two and you have to put energy on the lost zone. There's actually a better option for that, and it's Dustox. Dustox leaves your opponent's paralyzed and it's just upon evolution so that's actually really good uh wait hang on what's the 30 60 90 120 150 yeah okay and i'm just gonna save all my well actually i probably should use end resolve because like marnie and reset stamp but i'm one energy away from winning and if you're wondering about the full art version of end resolve i mean uh oh. Okay. Are they going to try and do this for eight turns? 
so I'm going to poke a gear and see if there's any switches in my deck. There are two switches, so I can sort of just end this here. So I'll burn the poke gear. I will attach the energy. I will attach the island challenge amulet. I will. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do Denny. Why would I? Why would I do anything different? Yes, I'm just going to win. And that's how you do it with Ray. You swing for a bunch of damage. 270. Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful sight. So I'll go to the final game, and it will definitely be up against something something beefy. Let's go. All right, is this going to be another Picaron matchup? It'd be pretty cool if they went first, because it'd be cool to see the opposite against the Picaron matchup. There was Lightning and Colorless. Uh, what would the Colorless be? A double? I don't know. I hope this is Picaron, though. Okay, awesome. Start array. N no, that's a Dedenne. That's not array. So what do they got for me? Please be Picaram and please let me draw into everything I need. Is that is that so much to ask that I just draw everything I want and need? I think that's just asking the bare minimum, right? Okay, they're taking their time, which is quite worrying. But if it's Picaram and everything works out, I won't be upset. And oh, it is this okay this is interesting and they passed okay so i need some things to happen here i need to get rid of the grass go get a ray okay zero auras in the deck and then i need these poke gears to do something for me There's an end. I don't quite want ends right now. I want something else. That is not what I wanted. Okay, so uh, yes. All right, so Pokedears couldn't get me there, but of course that did. End resolve. Do I use end resolve? It'd be pretty funny to use end resolve, so I'm going to use end resolve. Oh, wow. I got three. That's interesting, but I think at this point. I just Tempest, they didn't do anything turn one. I need to recover some things I lost. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And I know, I know my ranking has fallen a little bit, but while I'm testing decks like Ray that do really good against the top decks in the meta right now, I'm also testing, oh geez. Okay, alrighty. I'm also testing decks that uh, aren't good. You know, I'm trying to make the unknown hand and unknown damage decks work. And those, you know, you'll win one out of ten games. And when you win the one, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I think I actually get... Okay, that is perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. So, sorry, Oranguru. You're not going to make the cut here. So I just grab the Coco, and then I grab the Zero Aura. And everything will magically work out from there. There's Zero Aura, there's Coco. I can use the Eldegoth and get Cynthia, but I think that would be not amazing. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm seeing things happen here that I like. Um, do I end resolve first? Or do I just... Um, sure, let, let's be crazy. Let's, let's ramp up that... Oh, okay. I, I see what's going on here. Uh, let's do both. Let's put a ray back in there. And I think there was a grass energy, right? Yep. And then I'm just going to Detenny and hopefully get something else. There you go. And I'll dance to the Ancients, put that there and probably there. I don't have very many cards left in my deck and I mean the energy recycler is somewhere. 
So I might actually be in a position where I have to attack with Zero or a GX. Oh man, 330. That is insane. I mean, look at this deck. Look at this deck. You just knock out two tag teams. That's it. You know, think of it this way. If you go second and use Tempest turn one, and then they knock out a ray turn two, they're at four prizes, and you have six. You have this explosive turn. You knock out a tag team. It's four to three in your favor. And then they take a knockout. It's three to two. But you figure it out. You use End Resolve. You use Stormy Winds. And then you take another knockout. And you just, you just swing harder and you outpace them. That is why Ray has has a place before it rotates, is that Pokemon have 320 plus hit points these days, and it can do 320 plus. I think I just bench it and don't use the, no, come on, it, it's a Ray deck. Of course I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna not use <laughs> Stormy Winds, come on. Now, I know this wasn't a very competitive match, but it's showing you. I just did 390 damage turn 3, and I've only played one end's result. Just between Tempest and Dedenne and Stormy Winds and Tapu Koko, it is just so much fun. You know, I'm probably putting it in the title. It's fun, fast, and fragile. You know, it can't take a hit, but it can deal some big hits. I'm just going to go for it right here. So I can't really recycle anything, so I'm just gonna... Aw, oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. 420. Are you kidding me? 420 damage with a Ray deck. And I whiffed my final end resolve. Do you understand how crazy that is? It is so crazy. I'll leave the list in the description. Please take it online. Have some fun. Let me know if you take some crazy wins with it. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.